it apart! Got a piece of that one. The strength is failing. It's a whole swarm. Hello. Nice work! What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, it's just math. Yeah. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. Maybe. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're gonna go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Yeah, you know, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? <laughs> I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. <laughs> Well then. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. Nice job, Egon. Hmm, this is disappointing. No, disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Oh. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for Hank. Why be shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Flooding. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey. I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. It's an ambush! Get them hot! Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. A 
think Ray's right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong valence spike higher up in the building. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can we take the stairs? Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level 3 animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. you weren't here last time, Winston. So, no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there! Come on! Why was the ghost running away? I think we're dealing with a level 5 anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. Help! This is just how a level 5 anchored ambusher lures you in. The manager? What are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? He meant people. Then yes. I think so. <coughs> well, I guess that explains it. <laughs> Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety. God. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch. A professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. What are you still doing here? Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. <laughs> Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. Uh, breakers? In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. To the kitchen. That sounds great. A lot of dialogue going on in this episode. Which, I'm not complaining too much. This was always basically like the third movie for me anyway. Oh, sorry, Winston. What are you? Moving. Get behind something. Yeah, you look cool. Yeah. Ow! Sorry. Oh! Ow! What me that time? Into the line, sucker! I guess some of them apparently culminate to this plane that doesn't seem like they're happy about. It. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. The kitchen. Is it through here? Yes, just down the hall. Slimer's gonna be mad he didn't come along on this one. Really? What's scary about the plants? Hello? Anyone there? Alright, guys, spread out. In some dark, scary corner. No one said this before, but be careful. Why? Are you not? Cruel oven. The origins of this evil cooking device are unclear. What is known, however, is that demons and devils apparently love a home-cooked meal. 
All right then. Very intimidating dining experience. Very Oops, Lum. This place is wrecked. Did you and Binkman do all this when you were chasing Slime? No, this is a lot worse than they left it. This is the work of something big. When you say big, do you mean big, big? Mm hmm. At the very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds like big. The manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. I got him, Winston. Oh. Look, Cadet found the emergency generator. Look around for a switch or something to start it up. What's it look like? Probably like a switch or something that would start up a generator. All right, Egon, but you should know I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water in the floor. Watch out for static discharge when you activate the generator. You yeah. mean to say he could be electrocuted after the power's back on? Could happen. Outside chance. I'm gonna have to record some weak music. I'd recommend not stepping in that water. That sounds like an excellent recommendation. Looks like that power cable is causing all this. Get it out of the water then. I know this much. We're trapped down here like rats until that cable's out of the water. How about some slime tethering? Yeah. Only got no stuff. Come on, kid. The elevator should be working, unless something... Never mind, let's get back to the lobby. Listen, what's that smell? Over there, come on! Look out, uh -huh. it's the late shift! Yeah, but this is just the help. Where's the boss? I can't believe I just said that out loud. <laughs> I know that guy. It's the masked poisoner, Chef DeForest. So, nobody eat anything in here, even if you're really hungry. Okay. I'm about to throw my own tongue, Ray. That'd be okay. Why are you using shotguns? You're almost there. I got him. Whoa, look at him. Oh. Find some cover. Look out! Above you! Don't, Don't give up now! Come on! Good damn! You hit me! That's a whole lot of what ever Nobody messes with the kid! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ooh! Painful! All right, let's use another one. Watch your aim. Find some cover. Oh! Come on. Dang. Okay, I've got a beat on him. Above you. You own oh, that creep. Need some help here. You play a little rough too. Take that back to the grave. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, really? Seriously? Why is this? You know we keep in score, right? Everybody's going down. Why is this so hard? Hang on. Over here. Where what are you? Give it to him. Where are you? That's good. Keep working. 
Come on, go down. Come on. Yeah, well. Come on. Come on. Wow. Help me! Uh-oh. Come on, Egon. Come on, Egon. Help me! Come on, Egon. Not much longer, cadet. Run! Come on. Come on. Pick me up. Hang on. Thank you, Egon. Ow! I'm on it. Oh, great! A whole mess up! Aim high! They got me! They got me! I'm coming, I'm coming. It's okay, I've got you. It's on oh, your left. Lord. Run for it! Ooh. Lion pots and pans are going nuts. I'm almost there. Oh. Not me! Help! Come on, go in the trap. Ah. In the trap. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of whatever they are. Yes, I agree. Finally. Up there. I right hear you talking. Well, oh, there you are. You oh, got it. Oh, got it. In the trap. Go. Get you this clean. Let's get back to the elevator. <laughs>